Man, it's a shame that God has given people so many talents and gifts. And instead of using them to glorify God and his kingdom, they use it to glorify themselves and their own wicked ways. It's such a shame, man. You wonder why all these athletes, these singers, actors, musicians, everyone, that looks like they have it all. They have all the money, they have everything you could ever want in this world, and they're still doing drugs, they're still drinking every day, they're still sleeping around, they're still doing all these things, and they're depressed on the inside. It's because that's not their purpose. What you do for a living to make money, unless it's glorifying the kingdom of God, is not your purpose. Humanity's purpose is to help others and to glorify God and his kingdom. That is our purpose. That is our purpose. And until we get back to that, we're going to continue to go downhill as a nation, as a world. We have to get back to our real, our real purpose, which is to glorify God. He gave us so many gifts and talents and people are doing amazing things in this world, but they just glorify themselves. They think they know all the answers. Lean not on your own understanding. It's that simple. We don't have any answers. We don't know anything, truly. The more you start to learn about this world, the more you realize you don't know anything. It's, it's the truth. There's so much to learn still. Every single day you can learn something new. That's why you just need an open mind. Don't just become closed-minded and think that you have all the answers because there's people that can help you. There's scripture that can help you. You're supposed to be learning every single day. And... Proverbs 19.21, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. It is the Lord's purpose on your life that prevails, not your own. You don't need all these material things. True peace, true inner peace and happiness and love and joy, that is what you need in this life. That's all you need in this life. You seek the kingdom first and he will give you everything. That's all you need to do. People might look at you weird. People might tell you you need to do more. You need, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to be making more money. If you have peace and, and happiness and you're doing everything you can to live by the word of God and to glorify his kingdom, that's all you need. We know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. God works for all of us who love him, who truly love him, who follow his word. Sorry, there's a lot of mosquitoes out here. Satan trying to mess me up. <laughs> but if we're following the word of God and we're doing what he called us to do he is with he's always with us we can't fail we can't fail in this life if god is for us who can be against us if god is for us who can be against us nobody there's going to be people coming at you trying to bring you down but nobody can do anything to you when you're guided by god when he is with you all the time nobody can do a thing That doesn't mean you're not going to have slip-ups. doesn't mean you're not going to mess up. But it just means that God will get you through anything. Every single hard time you go through is meant to build you up, to make you stronger. So you can be a real soldier and warrior for Christ. That's what this all is about. Every trial and tribulation you go through is meant to build you up, to make you stronger. So you can glorify God. In these, especially in these times when, when the whole world is under Antichrist spirit. 
We need to be stronger than ever. We need to be stronger than ever. Not be afraid to say what we feel. Not be afraid to call out people on their wickedness, on their sins. Because everyone is offended by the Bible these days. The, num the most read book in the history of all books made is now offensive to maybe 90% of the world. What is this world coming to? Where it's offensive, it's a hate crime to talk about the Bible. <laughs> what is this world coming to? It just shows the times we're living in. The Antichrist spirit is everywhere. And we just got to be strong because it's going to get worse. The Antichrist spirit is going to spread more and more. And that's why, that's why we're all going through these tough times to build us up so we can, so we can get through anything. I, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Say that over and over again. We can do anything through Christ which strengthens us. Peace out. Love y'all.